Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can create a motion clip using Cinema 4D so you can have an animation that repeats itself without having to keyframe each time you want to repeat it. So I'm just going to create a object, I'm going to create a cube, and at frame zero I'm going to add a, a keyframe for heading, and then I'm going to move forward to frame 30, and I'm going to add another keyframe for the heading, this time at 360 degrees, and I'm going to press this little dot next to it to add the keyframe. So we've got a little animation here of a cube spinning around. So the next thing we want to do is to take that, those keyframes and package them into a uh, animation clip. So to do that, we right click on the cube, we go to Cinema 4D Tags, and we go to Motion System, and that will uh, create a motion system for that object, which will allow us to make the clip. So the next thing we do with the tag motion system tag selected, we want to go to open in TL, open in timeline, and then what we can do is we can select our cube and go to motion system, and we want to select add motion layer with animation. And what that will do is it will create a uh, motion clip on the side here, um, and it will put that motion clip inside a motion layer for that object. So it's using this uh, clip called S1. This S0 is one I created earlier. I'm just going to delete that. And if I play through, play through the animation, you can see that the cube updates. But now, because this is packaged as a motion clip, I can select it and then duplicate it by control clicking. And then as I move through my timeline, the animation goes, and then it goes a second time, and it goes for each time that I produce it. Um, and you can rescale the length of that clip as well, so if you want to have the second one be faster, you can scale it. So you kind of have a sort of video editor for uh, your motion clip, and that's very versatile because it means you can layer up procedural animation with lots of different clips. So here I could just duplicate it again, have it playing once normal speed, once fast, and then once normal speed again. And that would look like this. And so you can just kind of build your animation in a modular way using this technique.